Hey guys, I'm back again, and uh, today I, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to install commands in the system. Now, if you're a Linux user like me, uh, you can just do it by, if you download a file, you can do change by minus x. If you're an Arch or Red Hat, you can do yum or we get. Or if you use Debian, apt minus git. Now, in Windows, they don't exactly have a packet manager, but uh, I'm going to be using my uh, uh, I'm going to be using Aircrack as my uh, example because I have Aircrack. I have installed a system, so anywhere I am on the system, I can just type Aircrack my SNG, Airmon, all that stuff, and it should be able to run in Windows from command line from anywhere. Now I did CD. I did change directories to a uh, slash, which is the base of your whole directory. And right here, you can see Aircrack is right here under Air. Same thing with John the Ripper. I need those for another program, but um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you how you install it. And just to prove I have done it, I'm gonna type Aircrack. And then it loads, and these are all your commands, yada yada. You use it just like you would in Linux. But in order to install any program as a system command, you have to go to Control Panel, Advanced, uh, Advanced System Settings, Edit Environmental Variables, right here. Then you have to come down here to Path. Now, it's separated by a uh, that. A uh, colon. <laughs> now, there's the Skype commands from when Skype installed, but I added this colon. That way I can do John, slash John slash run, which is where John the Ripper is. Then I did the same thing again with slash air slash bin, and that's where Aircrack is located. Now, once you've done that, you can run anything you put there as a system command. If you wanted to, you could even put the path to like a batch file or something. Do I have a patch file? But now in Linux, this is so much easier to do uh, because you can, if you download a program, like I said, you can do change mod minus x in the program after change directories to its location, or just app git yum whatever you use. So that's about it, and uh, thank you guys for watching. One more thing is, I'm getting ready to do some more videos, uh, things like the hydrogen generator, I'm building a new one of those for a friend, and we're going to try to build a forge too, so we can get some of that stuff done. Maybe we can even use the hydrogen generator for that. It won't be, uh, hopefully it will be a uh, pure hydrogen generator, whereas mine was producing oxygen, which I believe uh, was why it exploded in the few second video I posted before. But uh, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.